Hold up. Hello, my name is Good Job Carl, and today I'll be reviewing the game Earthfall Invasion. Now, this game is very much so like Left 4 Dead. It's pretty much like a more modern version with aliens and a lot of different things you can do in it. Uh, so yeah, you pretty much it has a horde mode. So instead of like a, it has a wave system. So instead of like Left 4 Dead being just one giant wave for however long it can last. This has certain waves, so it has like 20 waves. I think my first game I actually ended up winning with the random squad that I joined. But uh, <clears throat> just to go over the pros and cons of it, um, as far as any cons goes, I think the only big issue I had was like when you're, like you can see on the, on the video there, like you have those barricades up. You can place those down, you have to buy them at these terminals. The only problem is if you want to uh, take that barricade to another area like across the map or whatever i'm not sure if you can like put into a slot somewhere but uh, as far as i could tell you can only you have to carry it with you so you're like pretty much vulnerable to attack that's the only con i actually found out of it it's actually a really fun game again if you like left for dead you're gonna love this game so i mean the graphics are good you can see all the aliens exploding and all that stuff the green goo going everywhere and everything like that um it's kind of cool like the actual skill system i don't have it shown here but like it, it's very, very like you have to put a lot of time into this game to actually start getting some of the skills unlocked, like getting different stuff going for you. Now, the reason why I stopped playing was because I couldn't stream it as well. For some reason, Stream Labs didn't like it, so that's kind of why I stopped playing it. But besides that, I mean the game's good. There's a there's a few terminals. You have like an ammo terminal to the right there. There's a health terminal you can heal up. Those ones to the left there, actually, you can buy different guns. You can buy guns, you can buy a stim, like stim injection, so it kind of makes you shoot a lot faster, reload faster, stuff like that. Um, you call it, you can call it care packages, and they actually drop like mini guns, flamethrowers, cool snipers, stuff like that. And the shooting, it's actually pretty good. I mean, like the, uh, it was brought to me by someone watching. That the red dot, like, on the AK-47 was kind of low. Which, I mean, if you think about it, it's not... It's nothing that's game-breaking. It is kind of, uh... Bothersome. But, I mean, once you get past that, it's not a huge, a huge deal. You're too busy focused on... Trying to kill the aliens, trying to kill you and stuff. So, it's not... It's not a huge deal. <clears throat> I will tell you, teamwork is required in this game. Kind of like Left 4 Dead. It's the same deal. Like, in order to live, you have to be a team. And, yeah, I've only played two maps. I didn't play it very long. Probably put an hour into it. But, yeah, I just stopped playing it because of Streamlabs not really cooperating with it. So, it's kind of unfortunate because I wanted to get a bunch of friends to play this game and actually uh, squad up and all that. But I think it was 30 bucks, which, personally, I think is kind of high for it. But if you can catch on a sale for, like, 10 or 15 bucks, I think it's definitely well worth it. It's definitely worth the purchase. I mean, it's just non-stop action. Like you can see just the, the aliens just crowding you and they shoot shit at you and stuff like that. So it's it's cool. A lot of different effects. Definitely, it's it's a lot of fun. But yeah, other than that, it's it's a pretty solid game. I haven't played this solo mode yet, so but I plan on giving it another go. Honestly, I just I thoroughly enjoyed this game like just the amount of carnage like right here It's just all the stuff happening and the thresher just Trying to pretty much eat your face off and it's pretty cool Your buddies can shoot you shoot the thresher off you and save you and revive you and stuff like that and There's quite a few enemies you got to fight. There's the typical ones. There's the uh, It has like a shield and it kind of like bounces back and forth and like teleports you I think he's pretty hard to kill. There's this big tanky beast dude who just launches fireballs at you and it's absolutely insane to kill him takes a lot of damage right here is where they show off the uh the printer so i'm like going through looking through and all that stuff and i pick up the ak-67 just to try it out I think it's like the first gun that i actually bought and it's pretty cool i mean it has the uh, red dot sight on it and it it hits pretty hard and there's like different stations different like uh each of the buildings have those stations and they each offer different stuff so like I guess part of the game is knowing where everything's at. 
And I actually found out that you can actually take someone's stuff. So say, for example, one of the guys, they spend money like on the Harbinger, which costs like 3,000, 4,000 credits. I actually took it from a guy by accident, just thinking it was, I was trying to like get it going. And yeah, so he kind of got pissed at that, but I gave it back to him just because it wasn't my gun that I bought. So, yep, and here we go. The Thresher's murking me. Molly whopping me in the face there. I'm pretty sure we lose this game, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, we don't. I think I just, most of us just get down and this guy saves the day. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this game, it's a lot of fun. There's, there's the big guy I was talking about, the one that, uh, throws the fireballs at you. I'm shooting him in the ass a few times. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this game, it's a very good time killer. And if you just, you're just in the mood to mow shit down, this is the game to pick. Like, you and your homies just go ape shit. But overall, it's a good game. Um, if I ever pick this game back up, I may do a later review and see how I still feel about it. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys found this review entertaining and helpful. Maybe I might convince you to actually get the game if it comes on sale. Maybe not. Uh, it's free country. But uh, again, thank you for your time, and uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Y'all have a good one. Peace.